On hole number two, I'm going to play in this case with the three right spin and with two and a half bar of backspin. And when it comes to the setup here, I'm looking to have the top of the white ring close to the rough, but as this angle is hard to see the white ring at the top, I'm looking at the tip of the ball guideline to be just by the divide in between the dark and the bright green square row and the ball guideline pointing towards the pin. Now, I'm swapping to a Guardian here, and the reason for that is that I do want to ensure that we can just use one pull. Playing with a Guardian, you play max plus 20 P2, but for those that do not want to do a club swap, you can still play with a Sniper and play max plus 25 P2 instead. But the problem with the Sniper is obviously that you have to do two pulls if the wind is going to be, let me look, if the wind is going to be above uh, 8 miles per hour, you will have to do two pulls and that's always going to be very tricky. Adding a click or left curl here, uh, this is the yellow angle as I base it off but with high wind I'm adding a click or left curl as that's aligned with my notes. So in the end we have a very good chance here on hole number two for an hole in one. Get the guide on patreon.com slash golfclashtommy.